Congratulations on the purchase of your DB150. This amazing tool will provide you with a lifetime of fast and easy surface preparation, but first, you'll need to know how to use it. Fortunately, we've designed all of our machines to operate as simply as possible. I'd like to tell you that even a monkey could operate our machines, but unfortunately, due to monkey labor laws, we've been unable to substantiate that claim. However, rest assured that my IQ is only slightly higher than a monkey's, and I managed to fumble my way through it with minimal injury. Here's how to operate your DB150. First, you'll need to screw the nozzle head shutoff valve onto the blast hose. Now, unscrew and remove the fill cap lock, then remove the fill cap. Insert the funnel into the fill hole. Notice that the funnel has a mesh which prevents clumps or debris from entering. Pour in five gallons of water. Pour in 6.4 ounces of hold type 102. Give the funnel a drop to shake off excess water. This will keep the abrasive from sticking to it. Pour in 50 pounds of recycled bottle glass. Now remove the funnel and replace the fill cap. Stretch out the blast hose and attach it to the blast hose connection. Don't forget to insert the safety clip. Connect the compressor hose to the air inlet and insert the safety clip. Turn the abrasive adjustment screw so that about three quarters to one inch of silver pipe is visible. This part will not stay up until the machine is pressurized. Now you can start your compressor. You'll notice the gauge shows pressure now. Open the vibrator valve and adjust until you feel maximum vibration on the top of the machine. Make sure that the blowdown valve is closed. Open the air inlet valve. If you've followed all these steps correctly, you're ready to start blasting away paint, rust, or anything else you don't like. Remember, you really can blast inside a building or shop without making a mess. Most of the water evaporates and all of the media gets grounded and can easily be swept up later. Even in dress clothes, you can get in there and blast without fear of getting dirty. When blasting, try different angles and distances. Holding the nozzle closer makes a smaller blast pattern, and holding it farther away makes a larger blast pattern. Experiment until you find the best technique for that surface. If the machine is not blasting, stay calm and don't do anything foolish. The most common problem we get called about is that the abrasive lever is locked down. Make sure the abrasive lever is unlocked and that the silver area of pipe is visible, or else no media will come out of the machine. This abrasive lockout feature gives you the option to blow off your work with clean air. Another common problem that we have is that the blowdown valve is open. If the blowdown valve is open, then the tank cannot become pressurized and no blasting is possible. 
When blasting, it's very important to wear the proper protective equipment. We recommend a Tyvek suit, a face shield, gloves, and ear protection. At the very least, ear and eye protection is required. Before opening the fill cap, make sure to close the air inlet valve and open the blowdown valve to release the pressure. Remember, this is a powerful and sexy tool, and when combined with your rugged good looks, it may result in unwanted attention from the ladies, which may stifle your productivity. If this occurs, we recommend shutting down the blaster immediately so that the women will lose interest and allow you to get back to work. If you have any questions, please feel free to call us, and we hope you enjoy your DB-150.